right guys so let's get everything in our pan we're going to start with some crab legs make sure you're using a big enough pan to fit all the items you're going to put in your bowl so i'm going to add crab legs and some raw shrimp i'm going to add some sausage and i'm just going to cut the sausage up into smaller pieces i'm using two packs and this bowl is customizable to what you like if you don't like crab legs you can do lobster you can do clams you can you don't have to have shrimp you know whatever you like and you can use a different kind of sausage too if that's your preference all right so now i'm going to add some corn i cut up some ears of corn into smaller pieces we're just going to add those all over. I'm going to add some baby potatoes. And I did steam them a bit before adding them because they do take a little while to cook. So I wanted them to be already get a head start on that. I melted down a stick of butter and we're going to add that on top. And then we're going to season it up. So I'm using some Old Bay. And you don't you want to get it good in season, but don't over season it because you are. I am going to make a dip. A sauce to dip it in so if you're going to use that you're going to have plenty of flavor I'm going to use some garlic powder and I'm going to add a little pink salt to it as well and then we're going to slice up a lemon and put some lemon slices on top All right, and then we're gonna cover this with some foil and we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes and it should be good to go. Now we're gonna get our seasonings together for our sauce. So I'm gonna start with some Slap Your Mama seasoning. This is a Cajun seasoning and it does have a little bit of a kick to it, but not too much. I'm gonna add some lemon garlic seasoning, some paprika, and I'm doing a teaspoon of all of them. We're gonna add some garlic powder. Some onion powder. Some black pepper. And some Old Bay seasoning and if you like a little more kick you can add some crushed red peppers or some cayenne pepper it's up to you and I'm going to do a little bit more of the Old Bay and you're just going to mix all that together and that is your seasoning for your sauce okay so for this sauce we're going to be adding two sticks of butter And we're going to melt those down. And guys, this sauce is my version of the Smackalicious sauce. If you've been to Be loves channel before, she makes a Smackalicious sauce. And it is amazing. I've made it her way as well. But I'm just tweaking this to what I have on hand. And it turns out just as good. So we're going to melt down these two sticks of butter all the way and once we get it melted down we're going to add some diced onion and this is a quarter of an onion that i diced up and we're just going to let that cook for a little bit maybe about four or five minutes just to soften up those onions now we're going to add a teaspoon of minced ginger and we're going to add about two teaspoons of minced garlic I like garlic, so that's why I'm doing two teaspoons. You can do one and that's just fine. And we're just gonna add our seasoning to this after um, we just let it cook for a minute or so, not long. We're just gonna throw the seasoning in there and let it all cook together. And you just mix it up in there good. Turn down our heat to a medium low and let that simmer. 
We're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes or so. All right, guys, so it's been 35 minutes and everything is done. As you can see, I am going to take half of my sauce that I made and pour it over top. I put half of it to the side for us to use for dipping. And actually, I put a little bit more than half, but roughly half of it. Um, and I'm going to just pour the rest of it over top. This is a step that you don't have to do, but that's just what I'm going to do because no sauce will be wasted. So I'm just going to drizzle it over top of my whole bowl. And there, there it is. That is the seafood bowl, guys. So I hope you guys try this recipe. It is very good. My family loves it. My oldest daughter absolutely loves it. She requests it all the time. So yeah, hope you guys like it. And I thank you for coming by and watching my videos. All right, bye.